this is Robin Norgren, and you are coming to a channel that I have called Deeply Rooted, and I wanted to just take a few moments to talk to you about what to expect on this channel. So um, here's my story. I have been walking with God um, and been what you would call a spiritual person, a Jesus follower, for almost 25 years now. And as I've walked um, alongside God, I've done it through nature and through music and through art and through yoga. A lot of um, the ways in which, um, at least in the United States, it hasn't necessarily been um, the most accepted way to um, have church or to commune. And um, so for many years, I've kind of done it uh, just solo and um, over the last six months or so I have felt compelled to really start to step out and bring um, this type of way of communing and worshiping and, and walking with God to um, the forefront. And so what you'll find here is you will find um, lots of conversations about how um, to sit with God, to be still with God, to find your own voice, uh, what it means to have um, your will align with God's will. And I will be doing it um, through art, through music, through book studies, and through yoga. And so I just wanted to upload a video to just kind of explain what the purpose of this channel is and what you can expect here. I will be uploading at least two to three videos a week. And so if this is something that seems interesting to you, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, this is the area that I will be using. And then also I have what we have fondly called the one cent couch. And let me tell you that story. Um, so over the years of my 19 year marriage with my husband who's in the military, we have very much lived by faith. We have gone out and uh, done things purely by faith, not necessarily thinking about the financial benefits that it would be for our family personally, but really following after what we desire um, to just be shining the light in the world. And um, so for many years, it looked almost like uh, a famine season for us where we were living just paycheck to paycheck, many times not knowing where her next um, paycheck was going to come from. And then over the last um, year or so, it would be what you would call blessings running after us where we finally feel like, oh, we can take care of the bills, we don't have to worry as much or be concerned about it. Um, and so the story of the one set couch, which you will see uh, one day soon, I will make sure and uh, make it make an appearance in the next few videos, is we went, um, I had a, had a particularly bad day at, um, at, at work, just for whatever reason. It was just one of those days where it was just like, you felt just down and you couldn't figure out like how you could have done this better. and. You know, am I doing something wrong here? I can't seem to, you know, just get things to gel. And uh, we had been listening to um, a teaching from Wildlife Church, which I will link in, uh, down in the show notes. And um, it was basically, it was a series called uh, Christ Over Crisis. And during this time in the United States in 2020, all over the world. As a matter of fact, we're all dealing with the uh, pandemic of COVID-19. And so we had, um, we had this couch. It was a rather old couch. Um, seams were bursting, but it was still a, a couch. I was still thankful to have a couch. Um, and so we had been watching one of these series and it was talking about how um, the, the people of God this is the time when you don't shrink back. This is what God calls you to, that you don't shrink back as other people would shrink back because we are supposed to lead the way to show how God is moving in the midst of something that was unexpected. And so I, uh, as I was listening to this, I felt a, a, a voice 
I guess you would call it your conscience or just a little soft voice inside me that that said you should get the couch which seems really unreasonable right because the last thing you want to do in this time is to buy a couch and so I kind of yeah, just heard it just thought ah, it's, you know oh that'd be nice to have a couch well this particular day I felt so strongly in my spirit go buy the couch and so I walked in my husband was sitting on the couch my daughter was also here and I said guess what today we're gonna go buy a couch right and they're like eh, okay and so I had in my mind like a certain time um, where we were gonna go what we're gonna do but it was again you, you got to understand it was one of those days where I was just like it was just like it took everything in me to just say that we get in the car and we're driving and I'm just kind of looking out the window and I realized that I had in my head where we were going to go to get this couch, but I had not informed anyone in the car, this is where we were going to go. So my husband had seen a place where he thought we might be able to find a good couch. And so we went there and I just thought, eh, we're just gonna go look at couches. And so we looked at couches, found this really beautiful couch. And uh, it was just one of those things like, that's the one we're gonna get that couch and um, you know he's uh, he uh, had just come back from a deployment and his back was bothering him from this mattress that we'd had for over 10 years and he says why don't we get a mattress while we're here and I said yeah what the heck let's get the mattress too and so we get the couch we get the mattress we go roll it up to uh, the register to pay for it and the lady takes the little scanner and her eyes get big and in my spirit it was like something big is about to happen and she calls over her manager and her manager she points to the price I don't see we can't see the monitor she points to the price and he goes eh, sometimes they mark it down like that and she goes what should I do and he goes just give him a couch for that price the price one cent it was a couch that was regularly $399 and we got it for one cent. And so when I say to you that that was the beginning of very much understanding that it's not about the couch, it's not about the mattress, it's not about I need a car, I need a house, it's about do you believe that I provide no matter what is going on in the world? And so my desire is to just offer that hope that when you're in my presence in the video realm, if you will, or on Instagram under deeplyrooted.us, that you will experience the power of God, not only coming from me, through me, to you, but you will also experience it in your life as well. So, I'm so excited for you to, enjoy, to join me on this adventure, and I can't wait to get started. All right, talk to you soon.